My name is Andy Hornby, photographer and vlogger. 15 years ago I started teaching myself photography. Today I travel the UK as a professional wedding photographer, landscape photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, my mistakes and my tips and advice. Join me on my photography adventures. Whew. Cut out sun. Morning and welcome to another video. Today it's going to be quite a good video. I'm going to keep it as short as I can because this video could potentially go on for quite some time. But I'm actually out on a photo walk with uh, my own group and another group that I work quite closely with. Uh, that's Just Great Shots Photography. Uh, they organise groups in and around Portsmouth as well as myself and, and the guys who run that, uh, Richard and Marie, are a fantastic couple and I got on from really well and uh, we have the same kind of outlook on our photography and what it means to, uh, to to get groups together. So there are quite a few groups locally who don't potentially like to mingle with other groups and uh, becomes very, I don't know, selfish if you like in my own opinion. Uh, but I'm one who likes to keep my photography uh, up to date and uh, show as many people as I can what I'm doing. And uh, I just think it's awesome that, that groups locally can get together and have days like this so we're doing a whole day we've actually been up since about five this morning preparing and uh to be honest messed a few things up because i've got a few lenses that i needed for this morning we're starting at Porchester castle which is where i am at the moment everyone's down there getting set up and doing their bits and pieces uh, we've done some stuff already i've actually already done a time lapse that i'm not too keen on so it probably won't go in the video i'm afraid uh, but i might potentially use one or two of the images from that just to show you what we've done and and where where we're at uh, it's a beautiful day and it's a bit of a shame really because there's no interest in the sky the time lapse would have been better and i probably would have kept it if uh if there was a bit of clouds in the sky but there's not at all it's uh, very very clear and nice and not very good for landscape photography uh, if you've seen any of my other videos i'm always saying that you need a bit of contrast in the sky just to just to add a bit of interest but from here we're going to go and get some breakfast in a minute where's a mcdonald's just around the corner and then we are on to titchfield abbey uh, which is uh i've never been to titchfield abbey but it's actually really really nice some pictures i've seen that come from there is really good i'm a little bit worried that by the time we get there the sun is going to be quite high in the sky it's going to be very harsh lots of shadows but we we'll just have to see when we get there and see how it goes so then after that we're on to bishop's waltham abbey which is uh quite nice it's in the middle of a little town in hampshire and it's a beautiful location i've never been in myself always wanted to go down there so that should be good so that's location number three and then later on tonight or this afternoon into the night uh, we're going to be up at Wacton Ruins now you've seen some of my videos I've been there before I've done a uh, horror shoot there last week uh, which was pretty good and we're going to be up there for some wire wall photography and it's going to be absolutely awesome uh, so the video I did recently with the wire wall stuff was actually with Richard and Marie we did a test shot uh, over the other side of Portsmouth and uh, actually worked out really well the problem is it's really hard to video wire wall photography you can't have any lights on uh, and you can't really get focus so there's a good chance when we get there there might not be any video of the actual wire wall stuff but the pictures i'm going to get from that i'll make sure i post on the on the video so wait around to the end of this video to see that uh, if you're new to my channel please sub i'm always uh doing vlogs like this for my days out but I also teach quite a bit as well and I've got a lot of workshop stuff on my channel so have a look on there uh, hit the notification bell and you'll get updated every time I upload a new video which is awesome thank you very much so let's get into this uh, so yeah so hang around the video you're going to see some drone footage hopefully and some pictures from Titchfield not a lot came out of poor chest I'm afraid uh, apart from maybe one or two pictures I might just scramble out of the images I took from my, uh, my uh, time lapse earlier on uh, but apart from that Let's move on. I can't put my drone up here, unfortunately, because as soon as I get past this this wall here you see there, uh, it's just too windy and it's not going to work too well. And I don't want to lose my drone today with that. So let's get on this. Don't forget to hang around because uh, today's going to be quite good. We're going to get some good shots. And I'm really looking forward to getting down to Racton Ruins tonight for the wire wall stuff. And I'm sure you're going to love that. So hang around. See you in a bit. Bye.
Okay, so at Titchfield Abbey, this place is awesome. I've just come inside from the shade because you see the harsh shadow is really, really harsh. Uh, and outside, it's just, uh, it's not my type of photography to shoot during the day like this. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm always complaining about the sun being too harsh. Uh, but I'm gonna get something, I'm gonna go outside in a second, uh, shoot back into the abbey and see if I can get a nice picture with the sun kind of maybe cresting over the over the top somehow. I don't know yet. Uh, I'll just have to bring out the details in Lightroom afterwards. It's a lovely little place. I'll have to come back. I think I'm probably gonna do some photo walks here myself. Uh, so look out for that if you're on my social media and my workshop group pages on Facebook. So I'm gonna get on, gonna go get some pictures uh, so I can at least bring you guys and girls something and then we're going to be moving on to Bishop's Waltham Abbey in a little while. Uh, well, I think the weather's good enough for me to send my drone up, so I might just do that. Right, I'm going to get going. I'll see you boys and girls in a bit. Let's get some decent pictures. This is uh, location number three. Okay, this place is great. It's a lot more open than I thought it was gonna be. And as you can see, and you look around, uh, there's a bit of scattered over the place. It's not really anything mega interesting. There's no sky. Again, I'm complaining about the sky. I'm always gonna complain about the sky. But it's actually lend itself to some quite nice little nooky areas. There's a bit over the back that's got uh, uh, a bit of like a like a knoll and there's, there's trees and growth like like growing through it which looks quite nice I'm gonna try and get up there and get you guys some pictures of that I don't know if it'll work out or not I don't know uh, I'm just again worried about sky you know these kind of uh, places 
would look absolutely awesome and I would do loads and loads of maybe long exposures uh, I'd get myself uh, set up and do a lot of uh, time lapses uh, especially for the videos like this you know I like a time lapse but there's just no interest in the sky and there's just no point in me doing it so I'm not going to even bother to be fair uh, this video is going to be fairly short we're going to move on in a minute uh, and get up to Racton Ruins and have a play with some wire wall and my drone again I think I haven't put it up here uh, there's far too many people and we're in an area where you're not allowed to drone so uh, drone staying in the bag but hopefully up at Racton there'll be no one around and the wind would have calmed down by then and we'll get some more footage so I'm going to get a few pictures going to see if I can get something at least from here uh, I've had a good walk around though it's a really nice place again it'll be somewhere where I'm going to want to come back to so let's, uh, let's move on and see what we can get picture wise and uh, and then we'll get up to Racton Ruins in a bit let's do this So what I've just done is actually found a little bit of interest in uh, in a composition, which is I think you can see there. Let's have a look. Just up here, it's like a little folly type thing, but it's overgrown with trees, so it's had a bit of interest, and I've managed to get a nice composition, including a bit of the rest of the uh, abbey, if you like, on this side. Uh, Sky is again not doing too well, but. I'm actually happy with the composition. I've actually bracketed it so I've got a, an exposure for the sky. It's very dark inside the folly, so I've actually bracketed so I've, I've actually got a lighter image to expose for the, the dark areas inside there. I hope it brings some of that detail out later. Uh, will it work or not? I don't know. The sun's pretty harsh. I've had to sort of almost guard, if you like, my camera from the sun. Because even on, on the video, you can see the lens flare. Is actually quite substantial when you're shooting almost towards the sun. Uh, did it work or not? I don't know, but hopefully the image will pop up now if it did work, and uh, you'll see. So let's have a look at that. If it didn't, then we'll go straight to the next location, but hopefully, we've got something. Let's have a look.
Okay, I know this might seem a little bit weird, but I've actually come back down to Port Chester Castle, which is just behind me, to do the outro for this video because uh, what I said at the beginning of the video was actually true. I couldn't get any video by the time we started the wire wall stuff. It was too dark. I didn't have any lights on me and when we're doing the wire wall, we can't have lights on anyway because it will detract from all the pictures. So I decided to do this outro. The next day I'm actually down at uh, Port Chester Castle again uh, to, to let you know how it went. And hang around because in a minute you're going to see some pictures that were absolutely amazing and I'm so happy that I got pictures and I want to thank Richard and Marie from uh, Just Great Shots Photography for helping me organizing this this entire event it was done by both of us but actually more so for Richard because Richard done all of the wire wall spinning uh, which is absolutely amazing uh, unfortunately I had my shorts on otherwise I would have jumped in there probably next time up Richard I'll make sure I've got jeans on and, and appropriate fireproof clothing so I can uh, take over and do some myself because I know you've done a fantastic sterling job thanks mate to everyone watching this video uh, I want to say that it's been an amazing day and we're going to do it again it was good having two groups come together like this you don't really see it at all especially not around Portsmouth there are lots of photography groups and they all tend to stick to themselves and 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 be really closed and and only do their own thing but my style of photography is about taking an image that no one else has got and you know try and make it just a little bit my own so I'm not worried about other photographers being with me or other phot photographers following me, doing what I do. Uh, it's about bettering yourself and, and this whole thing is about just taking your photography to just that little bit extra level, you know, that little level up and I'm here to help. I've always said that, I'll always do free stuff. I know I do paid workshops as well and I'm happy if you want to come to one of my paid workshops, that would be awesome. I'm always going to do free photo walks because I believe that getting people just, just out of the house, out of the bed in the morning, get out of the house, pick your camera up, go and take a few pictures, potentially get something that, that is different to what other photographers have got in the past. That's what photography is about, right? And that's what I'm about. So at the very least, these things get me out of bed. They get me into the car, pick my camera up and, and get out there and uh, just meet one or two of you lot. And uh, that's what it's all about as far as I'm concerned. I don't prescribe to the, the ethos that, that you should keep your photography to yourself. Uh, I've got something in me that I want to share with everyone. And as far as I'm concerned, these photo walks are what that, that's about. So if you ever want to come and, and, and take pictures with me, uh, even on my free photo walks, I'm not going to turn around and say I'm not going to give you advice because I do if, if that's what it is. Uh, obviously my paid workshops are where you get a lot of information but my uh, my photo walks are there for us to to mingle get some pictures maybe take something a little bit different that you've taken before and I know that Richard and Marie from Just Great Shots Photography have exactly the same ethos as me so uh, uh, I'll leave a link to their uh, Facebook group in the description if you want to go ahead and uh, look them up that'd be absolutely fantastic uh, big props to Richard for doing all the work last night so yeah, so just want to say thanks, hang around because the pictures from last night are absolutely fantastic. They're just about to pop up on your screen and uh, just want to say a big thanks and uh, hope to see you on another video some point soon. If you ever want to come down and take some pictures with me, I live on the south coast of England. I live in Portsmouth but I do travel around a little bit. On my workshop days I try and keep really, really interesting. We do a lot of stuff around South Sea and Portsmouth but I'm looking at taking my workshops elsewhere. If anyone wants me to come to you and do a workshop just leave a comment down below i'm more than happy to travel and we'll arrange something somehow i need to get out there a bit further afield i know i'm going to be going down to cornwall again soon join me again on another video i'm going to get going get home and uh get this video out to you as soon as possible hang around because you're gonna love these pictures so i want to thank you if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel please like this video if you uh, got anything out of it and uh, uh, hit that notification bell if you subscribe so you get updates every time I upload a new video. It's been amazing. Yesterday was a very, very long day, but I'll tell you what, it was well worth it. And uh, if you're in and around Portsmouth or the south coast of England, you're gonna wanna come to the next one because it's gonna be pretty amazing. We're already talking about what that could be. So, yeah. <sighs> See you soon, take it easy, bye.